Have you ever felt that overwhelming urge to hide when it's time to speak up? Or maybe you've avoided social gatherings because the thought of interacting with others makes you anxious? Trust me, you're not alone. I remember a time when I would dread group projects in school. I'd feel my heart race, palms sweat, and my mind would go blank. But here's the good news, shyness doesn't have to hold you back. In this video, we'll explore practical steps to break free from shyness and build your confidence. So grab a notebook and let's get started. First, let's understand what shyness really is. Shyness is more than just feeling nervous in social situations. It's a deep-seated fear of being judged, rejected, or embarrassed. It often manifests as a reluctance to speak up, a tendency to avoid social gatherings, and a preference for staying in your comfort zone. For many people, shyness can feel like a prison, trapping them in a cycle of self-doubt and missed opportunities. Shyness usually develops during our formative years. For me, it was a combination of factors, including overly protective parents, limited social experiences, and a lack of positive reinforcement. I vividly remember feeling uncomfortable in social situations, avoiding eye contact, and struggling to express my thoughts. Over time, this behavior became ingrained, and I found myself shrinking away from opportunities that could have helped me grow. Did you know that studies show nearly 40% of people identify as shy? That's a huge number. So, if you're feeling shy, remember, you're in good company. Remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more engaging content. Now let's dive into how to overcome shyness. One, identify the underlying reasons for your shyness. Overcoming shyness starts with uncovering its origins. It's often a learned behavior shaped by our early experiences and the messages we receive from those closest to us. Think about it, if you grew up with parents who were overprotective and kept you from socializing, you may have missed out on crucial opportunities to develop your social skills. Or perhaps you were frequently criticized or made fun of for speaking up as a child. In those cases, you could have learned to associate expressing yourself with negative consequences. Identifying the root causes of your shyness is the first crucial step in breaking free from its grip. Take a moment to reflect on your childhood. What experiences might have contributed to your shyness today? Did your parents discourage you from participating in social activities? Were you teased or bullied at school? Pinpointing these formative moments is key to realizing that shyness isn't an innate part of who you are, but rather a learned response to specific situations. By digging into your past, you can start to understand where your shyness comes from. Maybe you were raised to believe that being shy was a virtue, or perhaps you witnessed a traumatic social experience that made you want to retreat. Whatever the reason, recognizing the origins of your shyness is empowering. It means you can start to challenge those beliefs and reframe them in a healthier way. Instead of seeing shyness as a fixed part of your personality, you can approach it as a challenge to overcome. This shift in mindset is crucial for personal growth and opens up new possibilities for social engagement and self-expression. Two, confront your negative beliefs. One of the biggest obstacles to overcoming shyness is the negative beliefs we hold about ourselves. Shy people often believe they are less competent less interesting, or less worthy of attention than others. These beliefs create a self-fulfilling prophecy, leading us to withdraw from social situations and reinforcing our shyness. To break free from shyness, it's crucial to challenge these negative beliefs. Start by recognizing that your thoughts are just that, thoughts, not facts. When you catch yourself thinking, I'm not good enough, or people won't like me, remind yourself that these are just assumptions, not truths. Replace negative thoughts with more positive, realistic ones, such as, I have valuable contributions to make, or people are interested in what I have to say. As you work on confronting these negative beliefs, it's important to practice self-compassion. Understand that everyone has doubts and insecurities, and you're not alone in feeling this way. Be patient with yourself as you challenge these ingrained thoughts and celebrate even the smallest shifts in your mindset. Over time, by consistently reframing your thoughts and treating yourself with kindness, you'll notice a gradual reduction in your shyness. This newfound self-assurance will empower you to engage more freely and confidently in social situations, allowing your true personality to shine through. 3. Step out of your comfort zone. Shyness thrives in the comfort zone, where we feel safe and secure. However, growth happens outside of this zone. To overcome shyness, you need to push yourself to step out of your comfort zone and face situations that make you uncomfortable. 
Start small by setting achievable goals. For example, if you're shy about speaking in public, challenge yourself to speak up in a small group setting or at a family gathering. Gradually increase the level of challenge as you become more comfortable. Remember, the goal is not to eliminate discomfort entirely, but to learn how to manage it and grow from it. As you continue to step out of your comfort zone, you'll begin to realize that the situations you once feared are not as intimidating as they seemed. Each small victory builds your confidence and reduces the grip shyness has on your life. Embrace these moments of discomfort as opportunities to expand your horizons and discover new strengths within yourself. The more you expose yourself to challenging situations, the more resilient and self-assured you'll become, ultimately transforming your shyness into a stepping stone for personal growth. 4. Visualize success. Visualization is a powerful tool for overcoming shyness. By imagining yourself succeeding in social situations, you can build confidence and reduce anxiety. Before entering a social situation, take a few moments to visualize yourself interacting confidently with others, speaking clearly and feeling relaxed. The more vividly you can imagine the scenario, the more real it will feel and the more prepared you'll be when the time comes. By focusing on the potential rewards of stepping out of your shell, you can shift your mindset from fear to anticipation. This not only motivates you to engage in social situations, but also reinforces the belief that you are capable of handling them successfully. Over time, these positive visualizations can rewire your brain to expect success rather than failure, making it easier to approach social interactions with confidence and ease. 5. Embrace rejection. One of the biggest fears that shy people have is the fear of rejection. However, rejection is a natural part of life and it's something everyone experiences at some point. Instead of fearing rejection, learn to embrace it as an opportunity for growth. When rejection does occur, it's important to approach it with a sense of curiosity rather than self-judgment. Instead of immediately assuming that something is wrong with you, take a step back and analyze the situation objectively. What were the circumstances that led to the rejection? Were there external factors at play? Is there something you could improve upon or was it simply not the right fit or timing? By asking these questions, you can transform the experience into a valuable learning opportunity. Each instance of rejection can teach you more about yourself, your strengths, and the areas where you can grow, ultimately helping you become more confident and capable in the long run. Moreover, embracing rejection means understanding that it is often a stepping stone to success. Many of the most successful people have faced numerous rejections before achieving their goals. Each no they encountered brought them closer to the yes that made all the difference. Similarly, when you encounter rejection, remind yourself that it's just a part of the journey toward your ultimate objectives. Instead of dwelling on the setback, focus on the progress you've made and the lessons you've learned. Over time, you'll find that rejection loses its power to intimidate you, allowing you to pursue your goals with greater courage and determination. Six, build self-confidence. Self-confidence is the antidote to shyness. The more confident you are in yourself and your abilities, the less likely you are to feel shy or intimidated in social situations. Building self-confidence takes time and effort, but it's well worth the investment. Start by identifying your strengths and accomplishments. Make a list of things you're proud of and review it regularly. Set small achievable goals that challenge you to step out of your comfort zone. Celebrate your successes no matter how small and use them as fuel to build your confidence. Building self-confidence involves more than just acknowledging your strengths. It also means addressing areas where you feel less secure. Take time to develop new skills or hobbies that interest you as this can significantly boost your self-esteem. For example, if you feel nervous about public speaking, consider joining a local speaking club or taking a course. As you improve and gain proficiency, your confidence will grow. 7. Seek support. Overcoming shyness is a journey that doesn't have to be taken alone. Seek support from friends, family, or a mentor who can provide encouragement and guidance. You may also consider joining a support group or taking a course in public speaking or social skills. Surrounding yourself with supportive people can make a big difference in your journey to overcome shyness. Professional support, such as therapy or coaching, can also be beneficial. A therapist or coach can help you identify and address underlying issues contributing to your shyness and provide tailored strategies for improvement. 
Engaging with a mentor or coach offers a structured approach to developing social skills and self-confidence. By actively seeking and utilizing these resources, you can gain valuable insights and encouragement that make overcoming shyness a more manageable and successful journey. 8. Be patient with yourself. Finally, be patient with yourself. Overcoming shyness is not an overnight process. It takes time, effort, and persistence. Celebrate your progress no matter how small and don't be too hard on yourself if you experience setbacks. Remember that every step forward, no matter how small, is a victory. Breaking free from shyness is one of the most empowering things you can do for yourself. It opens up a world of opportunities and allows you to live life to the fullest. By understanding the root causes of shyness, challenging negative beliefs, stepping out of your comfort zone, and building your self-confidence, you can overcome shyness and embrace a more confident, fulfilled version of yourself. I hope you found these strategies helpful, and I encourage you to take action and start applying them in your life. If you're on a journey to overcome shyness, know that you're not alone. Many others have walked this path before you, and with persistence and determination, you too can break free from shyness. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content.